Don't break your toe again. Well, there's a pin inside my foot. It feels every time, yeah. We got six of those down this side. This should keep it from blowing away so easy. so they can do a few anchors uh, around their house, but it's $1,100 plus whatever shipping. Uh, I didn't pay that much because I bought it years ago for $440, and that hurt my feelings when I did that. It's like a week's worth of profit back then, 20 years ago. But uh, I have two of those. One of them kind of sucks. I had to figure out what's going on. So anyway... There is an anchor machine, and uh, generally I charge anywhere from 75 to 100 for me to put the anchors, that's me purchasing anchors, the straps, and putting it in. And uh, it's supposed to be every 15 feet on a mobile home, and I wrap it around the, the frame. But honestly, folks, for 
tornado comes along or high wind, it's not really the wind that you're trying to control, it's what's in the wind. Once there, the couch goes flying through the wall, there's nothing you can do. It's just going to blow that whole house apart. Been a lot of times I've seen these houses where they're flipped over, yeah, but the, what, the, a lot of times you'll see just a flat gr uh, top of the floor and maybe a toilet and some carpet and everything else is gone. When I worked in Andrew and a bunch of other tornado damage. That's, it, houses don't hold up. Why are we expecting to see mobile homes hold up? But this is there something less than an F4 or 5 which I have seen people did not use anchors and did not set their house upright. How smooth. Hopefully we won't see too much of that. Had a single wide come down and the piers went through the floor. And uh, it was on a steep hill, so nobody wanted to mess with it, even the professionals. So it took me a while, but 